Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review A Banquet. And this is from director Ruth Paxton, and this horror film focuses on a strange entity that may or may not be possessing a teenage girl, and how that affects this young woman, her friendships, her relationship with her mother and her sister in this household, and you really have a character-driven film here because it's this film really relies upon the emotional strain of these characters to really drive the horror and the thrills in the film and not something that's like very narrative based. It's not like trying to get like this MacGuffin to stop something from happening. It's very much like what's going to happen to this young woman and the effects that this is having on her and the people around her. There's some interesting body horror and like grotesque food imagery in this film as just, like she refuses to eat and how it's played up it's like next to like Spencer with the weird eating the pearls scene like haven't seen eating food so grotesque in a film in a while and it's really played up well and Paxton does a really good job of creating suspense and unnerving feel in those moments in the film there's definitely a deep internal turmoil among these characters and what they're struggling with and that's where the real emotion of this film is and the struggles of a family and that's why I feel like you get this emotional connection because it's very deeply relatable you know it's channeling like the tensions that you might have as a teenager coming to odds with your parent and your younger sibling but in this film there's that added layer of like what's going on with this young woman and how the film plays it off there's some good uses of camera work and editing to build the suspense and unnerving atmosphere around her experiences and you have Sienna Gullery who plays the mother here who brings an emotional anchor to the film you see her motherly struggle with her love unconditional love being tested for her daughter played by Jessica Alexander who's the lead of this film this young woman who's through going through this turmoil who does a fantastic job of showing the struggle and the when she gets really out of it she plays that off very well it's very believable and genuine you feel like this person's under duress whenever those things happen you have Ruby Stokes who plays the other per, uh, other daughter in this family and like their struggles all with each other and the emotional strains that are pressed upon this family in this film are hard and hard to process and tangible and you could feel it through the screen and I think that's where this film really soars it does lack narrative thrust there doesn't seem to be a very consistent through point of like where this film is going and where is it going to end what is a satisfying ending to this film but you do have and like you have all of these unnerving elements and these emotions and stuff like that but it never really feels like it culminates into a film that feels so well thought out and great for um, all of its dimensions but it rises so high on all of those other elements that do work that create this atmosphere that I think this is definitely a worthwhile experience and will get underneath your skin and make you feel some ways and I think that's what this film is able to accomplish. But those are my thoughts on A Banquet. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.